Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. I actually wasn't going to post a video today. I've just had some things in my personal life. Just, you know, one of those busy days. However, there's some very uh, interesting things in the news. So I'm just going to kind of speed through this and show you guys what's going on. So I guess we'll start off with this strange, mysterious purple light that was seen emanating from the skies above the Philippines. So the clip you just saw is actually part of around a six or seven minute long video where this light, which according to the viewers who saw it, was definitely emanating from the clouds. There was nothing coming from down below. It was almost as if whatever this light was coming from was being covered, uh, partially by this thick cloud cover here. And while they said what was even stranger was at the very end, how quickly the light just shut off. And so, uh, no further details as of yet have been coming in, but any of you who possibly live in the Philippines who may give us any more information as to what this was, or if you have your own footage or a similar incident, go ahead and post it down below. Now, in other news, if you guys remember earlier in the week, Elon Musk, along with his SpaceX company, sent up one of his very own Tesla Roadsters, which is an electric car that he manufactures, and well, they put it on top of a rocket and sent it out into space. You'll remember we did a video on this, and for about four hours, people from around the world were able to get a live view from the vehicle as it drifted through space via a number of cameras set up around the car, and that was until the batteries finally died uh, about four hours in, but it is a miraculous sight. They even installed this little dummy that looks like he's driving the vehicle called the Starman, and well, the car is on its way to planet Mars, where it will eventually just orbit around the planet for the next billion years. And so just after the live camera feed went down, Elon Musk posted this final photograph to the web, which shows the vehicle at its farthest away from planet Earth. And as you guys can see here, as compared to the video feed where the Earth is directly behind the vehicle, you can see it's much farther away, and it's reminiscent of the old Apollo moon missions when they were flying to the moon, and some of the shots out of the window of the space capsule showed a similar view of the Earth uh, at this distance. So, yeah, it's on its way out there. And once the live images and videos stopped, the booster that's attached to the car went into its final stage where it blasted the vehicle towards the sun and planet Mars, which, although we couldn't see it on the live feed here, many astronomers captured on their telescopes. Here is a video from Twitter, which captured this third burn that was visible from the Southern California night skies. And even after that, some of the observatories around the world were able to capture the Roadster passing by through space as you're seeing here. And while this is a pretty cool sight to see, there was also some strange things pointed out about uh, some mysterious objects in the sky surrounding this Mars-bound vehicle. Now, we know that there was a ton of footage that hit the web that depicted these mysterious objects floating around the vehicle during the live feed when it was just above Earth. Now, most of this, if not all of it, was simple debris coming from the rockets and from the vehicle itself. However, some of it was kind of mysterious, including what you can see in this footage here, which if you zoom in close, there's something strange that appears to be either down on the planet or hovering above it sitting in the clouds, and that is this strange, dark, elongated object. Which we can see, it looks to be just sitting over the ocean on the Earth. 
Now, this is actually over the Earth, because at one point in the footage, you can see the object pass behind the windshield of the vehicle floating through space, so this is definitely there. I'll show you some zoomed-in shots here. And, yeah, I mean, I have no idea what this could be. Is it just a strange trick of light and shadow? At first I thought that, but I don't see anything, at least cloud-wise, that would be creating this. Now, if this is a shadow, the question is, what is casting it? What is the object, which, again, I don't see any clouds that look like a cigar or a cylinder. So that would mean there may be something higher up above the Earth that is casting this massive shadow down on the Earth. But, uh, again, I don't know. I'm just showing you guys what was pointed out here. And uh, it's pretty strange, I'll have to say. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. This was found, if you go to the live video, which was still up, it's about four hours. This was found at around the 19 minute 30 second mark. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, you can. Now, in other news today, guess what just happened in Denver, Colorado? History right now in the metro. Reports of an explosion or maybe just some sort of loud noise that are waking people up in the middle of the night and nobody can figure out what it is. And Wheat Ridge police say their own officers have heard it too and they're now asking for help. Liz Gilardi has this bizarre story. I've heard them constantly. Uh, they've woken me up a few times. Startling residents out of their sleep, shaking homes, setting off car alarms. But what is it? To me, it sounds like a very large explosion, like an overhead firework. No one really seems to know. Jerry DiTulio is the Wheat Ridge treasurer. He's been tracking the booms and says it's not just an isolated incident. Around 31st and Pierce, 32nd and Ingalls, 38th and Allison, and also down near 46th and Reed. And he says it's been going on since July. It's usually one explosion after midnight and then they're done. There's certainly a lot of speculation about the explosions on the internet. You can imagine waking up in the middle of the night, hearing loud noises, wondering if you're going crazy. Just to pause, I just love what this reporter did here, speaking to the camera and then looking over to the terribly CGI'd computer screen where a miniature version of herself pops up and finishes the sentence that she herself had already started. Look how interested she is in what she has to say. But yeah, uh, I told you guys, this has become a, a, a normal, everyday thing when we post a video. Another report, mass report, of these mysterious booms, this time out of Denver, Colorado. The police have even heard them. They don't know what it is. They're asking the public if they can help. And, well, this has become a new staple. So, I think we're just going to make this, you know, like Tyler's mystery boom clip or report of the day. And it's just going to be a normal thing every day on the channel. So, look out for that. Any of you guys out of Denver have any new information about this, obviously put it down below. And, lastly, today we have yet another UFO clip. It was actually captured back in 2013, but wasn't uploaded to the Sources channel until just this week of a man in Canada who says he witnessed this strange object in the sky, which after it disappeared, minutes later, seemed to have been then followed by a fleet of unknown black helicopters. It's a very interesting piece of footage, again captured back in 2013. It looks like they were out at a picnic or, or a park of some sort. He witnessed this strange dark object moving slowly through the sky, kind of back and forth. And after he stopped recording, just minutes later, he saw this fleet of choppers heading in the same direction of this object. So yeah, wouldn't be the first time that we have seen uh, military fighters following or tracking these things if that indeed is what happened here. He doesn't know, and so obviously we can't know for sure. But we do know that the military has a rich history of following and tracking these things uh, as was displayed just last month with the release of no less than two infrared videos that were captured via cameras uh, on the bottom of these fighter jets that on two separate occasions captured these mysterious objects eluding them doing maneuvers that displayed anti-gravity technology before blasting away at high speeds and uh, you've seen that footage on the channel if you haven't or if you're new just go back you can find it we've done several videos on it 
But uh, yeah, uh, th these things have been tracked for years. They've admitted it. Uh, information has been leaked of it. And so I want to thank the viewer and the YouTube channel and Everyday Canadian for allowing us to share this clip. So with that, I'm going to jump off here, guys. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about everything we've talked about today. If you have your own footage, be sure to email it to me or just upload it to YouTube and then email me the link to it. That way I can get the full high-res version. So you guys have a great rest of your night. Stay tuned. I've got much more coming, and I will see you back in just a bit.